Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do another mold unboxing and review. This is a total first for me. I have never had one of these molds. I've never fished one of these baits. I've seen them, I understand the concept, and I think they'll be a really cool bait, but I have never had any experience with these. So this is going to be a true first look, first experience, first shoot type deal. So this is the fluke. This is a five inch fluke. This is a three cavity. They do make a bigger cavity. I can't remember if it is a six or maybe a seven. I don't know. It's bigger than this though. So take it out of this cardboard paper real quick. Maybe they got this thing taped up pretty good. Yeah, here we go. All right, so this is what we're dealing with. This is the Epic Bait Molds, five inch. Uh, it says jerk here, but it is kind of like a fluke. Uh, three cavity, and it has the back and belly engravings here, and the Epic Bait Molds logo here. The sprue is on the side here, butter knife slot there. And then on the other side, it just says belly, and it's pretty well identical other than that. But the machining on this mold is very, very good. As you can see, my color rack right there. It has got an excellent finish on the mold. Open this thing up, and this is the top side. As you can see, it has got the ribs, the ribbing here on the section here. And then on the belly side, it has these bars that create your hook slots. So yeah, I think that's gonna be a really, really good option. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, we're gonna get some better shots of this over here, and then we will start heating up a color. The color I have today is going to be three different pucks, so it's going to be really interesting to see how that goes. And yeah, we're just gonna mix them together, kind of see what we come up with. I have some pretty cool flake that gives a really neat appearance, and we haven't done any black on the channel from what I know, so we're gonna do some black with some really cool pink purple shimmer to it. It's gonna look really good. So let's get some better shots of this, and then I will get that plastic nice and hot. Okay, our black color is kind of ready, and it's got some other flake in it, but for the most part, it's pretty clean, so I'm going to add... A bunch of this and I'll show you what this is here in just a second basically it is a Walmart glitter that I found that works really well for this let's see it does take quite a bit though to get that look I'm going for so we will not be stingy with it we will not be stingy with it at all I gotta get the air out of this, but we're getting there. I don't know if this will show up on camera or not, but you can see that pink purple shimmer there looks really good. Like I said, I'll have to get the air out of this, but I'm gonna add a little more. It is definitely brighter in person than it is on the camera, but that's okay. You get the gist of what I'm doing. So I'm gonna mix this up again. All right, I'm pretty happy with that. So this is just some Walmart glitter that I got and it is just a really bright purplish pink color. So yeah, that is that. I'm gonna get the air out of this and then we'll shoot it into this bowl. Okay, it is go time. So I'm gonna pull some of this up here and then we'll shoot it into this mold. I'm gonna shoot it slow just because it's my first time. Doesn't take near as much plastic as I thought. I thought it was gonna take a lot more than that. So yeah, not bad really. Go ahead and top that off. Like I said, I don't know how much this is gonna shrink. This is my first time shooting this. So yeah, we'll put the rest of that back in there and we'll let these cool off and see how they turn out. I'm excited to mess with these. Okay, this actually didn't suck down in there near as much as I thought. It may be a little hard to tell, but that's about all the divot that I got. That's what you can see there. So what I'm going to do is crack this thing open real quick. 
Okay, they're gonna wanna stay in this side, so that's fine. That is what we're working with there. You can see that pinkish purple in just the right light. I'll see if I can get this in under this light and maybe you can see it better. That pinkish purple just really refuses to show up on my camera. I mean, you can see it in there like there, you can see all the specs, but it's pretty bright in person. It's amazing what the camera lens does to that. So I'll pull these out of here real quick. They're a little harder to get out of the mold than you would think because the hook slots. But yeah, let's take a look at these. Here is what we came up with. They look really nice. There you can see that pinkish purple shimmer there. Looks really good. You can see the hook slot right there. Opens up nice. We'll pull one of these off the sprue. Comes off really clean. No issues there. Yeah, nice little fluke there. Not bad. Nice little fork tail. I like the ribbing on the back. That looks really, really nice. Yeah, overall, pretty happy with these. They're about what I imagined. They're not quite as big as I imagined. I expect the profile to be a little bigger when I bought it, but I actually like that they're smaller than I expected. Yeah, they look really good. I like that, that kind of, uh, I don't know, it takes a particular light to get that pink to show up. All right, time to shoot this thing again. I said it doesn't take near as much plastic as I would have thought, which I am perfectly fine with. That means I can shoot this with other stuff pretty easily. This is just a four ounce injector here and I'm not using barely any of it to shoot that. So, not bad at all. Top it off, we'll see how much this one goes down. I doubt it goes down a whole lot, but we'll see compared to the other one, so. Yeah, we'll let these cool off and then we'll check them out. Okay, yeah, it really just doesn't sink that far down in there. Not like the other molds I have, so yeah, there's that. And then it seems to want to stick in the belly side, which makes sense because it's got the hook slots. But they just turned out flawlessly. Like this mold is shooting really consistent right now. Really a big fan of those for sure. And then we'll just pull them out. They're a lot, pretty hard to pull out of here just because of those hook slots. But that's okay. I'd rather them be hard to pull out and not feel like I'm gonna rip them because they come out really smooth other than just a little bit of tension. But yeah, those look really, really good. Ooh, there's a good look at that pink. Very subtle, but it is a lot more bright in person for sure. Just one of those weird colors that don't like to show up. And you didn't think I was just gonna leave you with one color, did you? We got some blue mixed up now, and it is a pretty crazy blue that I've used in a past video, but I think we're gonna make some flukes with it, so draw some of it up here, and we'll shoot it in here. It really feels like this mold should take more plastic than it does. I don't know why, but in my head, I really expected this to take way more plastic than it does. Maybe it's the hook slot that gets me. I don't know. It's very strange. Or maybe because I'm comparing it to like a four cavity stick bait and this is only a three cavity. It just seems really odd. I love it, it just seems odd. So we'll let this blue cool down and then we'll check it out as well. Let's crack this bad boy open. So they're gonna wanna stick in the belly side so we'll pull from the back side. Oh yeah. Those look really good. Yeah, that blue looks real nice, so we'll pull them out of this mold here. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah. That is some good looking baits there. For sure. Check these out. Yeah, those look nice. It's a really nice blue. It looks really good. Big fan of this, for sure. I like that blue. Definitely has a lot going on. Okay, while we're waiting for those to cool down, I do want to say, with any epic order, you're gonna get some super awesome stickers. 
Super nice quality, adds a nice little touch to the order. You'll also get a personalized thank you card with your name on it and a slip with your order information. Just kind of what you can expect uh, when you order from them. And they are super helpful. If you have any problems, they're very helpful to get anything like that resolved. If you haven't joined the giveaway video, I have a giveaway video on my channel. As long as we are not at 500 subs yet, the giveaway is open. So definitely head on over and check that out. It doesn't cost you anything to enter and you can win a gift card to my store or a gift card to Epic Bait Molds. So definitely think about checking that out. Okay, we are gonna crack this mold open. This is our second shot of blue here. And they are just super awesome. Look, look at that color. They just look phenomenal. So basically I'm just gonna grab them from the top and then pull them out of the hook slots. And that is that blue color. Super nice blue color there. Definitely is a very good, has a lot going on. Pretty bright, but I like it. And then here is our blacks. And you can really see that pink shimmer in these now. Yeah, they look really, really good. Two very good colors and um, excited to mess with them a little bit more. This mold shoots really well and I'm extremely pleased with it. If you want to pick this mold up for yourself, I will leave a link in the description below to this mold and the higher cavity cat will be in the same link and you can just pick it from the drop down. Definitely recommend you head on over to Epic Bait Molds to check some of that out. They have some super awesome stuff, really good lineup of products and I haven't been disappointed yet. So I have no problem putting all my faith in them for molds. So if you want to buy any of these baits or any baits I make any other time, there will be a link in the description below so you can head on over to my store and pick some baits up. All that money gets to go back into this so that I can keep making these videos for you guys. We can keep doing mold unboxings. We can check out pigments, do some fishing content. All that money just allows me to do this. So I'm very grateful if you've ordered and I just appreciate you watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out and it does make a difference. I think we have some cool stuff coming up. I've got some ideas for a couple of videos that are gonna be really nice. So definitely hang around for that. Um, I've been sick, so sorry for the lack of content. I'm just now starting to get over it. Um, I don't know if it was the thing that's going around or I don't know what it is. But anyways, we're just coming off that. So the content is kinda slowly working its way back up. So definitely hang around if you want. I appreciate you watching and I'll catch you in the next one.